All quiet on the Western Front with no minimum wage protests planned in L.A. today. Maybe, maybe it's because those union-backed protesters, well, some of them got caught at least with their union pants down because we called them out for wanting out. Now, along come the unions to say, well, we would like our own car, but we would like our own exemption to our unionized buddies. And yeah. you can't They're blame the people. They're putting the decision, though, on the no, employer. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. You, you, know, the you know this reeks of hypocrisy. Right, we're looking, what we're looking at is a plan uh, in L.A. where some uh, union groups were trying to get a special exemption, a carve-out, if you will, from that higher minimum wage. Uh, so it looked hypocritical, and all of this, of course, came after the, the higher wage was put into effect. Uh, Deneen Barelli and Alexandra Smith, a, a smell a rat here. Jammu uh, Green does not. All right, it, it, you don't think it's unusual, Jammu, that this happens and this developed and this special carve-out request happened after the fact? <laughs> I actually think that they should have brought this up earlier. So, I, kind you. of their strategy is Thank off. Thank you, an but, honest liberal. But Continue. The <laughs> but the concept of what they're talking about makes perfect sense. Yeah. Because you know why? What's the you know real why motivation behind sense? raising because the minimum that was wage? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the same concept those fast food employers were, were utilizing that maybe we could benefit from no, a two-tier no, pay no, structure. No, 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 no. What's the, what's you the know motive? I'm right, but go what's ahead. the motive? The unions have a motive to make sure that employees are getting decent wages, that they have decent benefits. They are fighting for the workers. Now, what, what are the restaurants wait a minute, wait a minute. and the other said, businesses that have been that, fighting that, this? But the union they, people, the union people, Denise, here she's not being consistent I, because yeah. the union people were saying a, a special car at a special lower rate for some, some that, that we want an exemption from this, which was the, the fast food owners were saying maybe a lower rate for some of our high school or, low, or, or, or part time workers. Uh, this is exactly the same. Listen, the, the union leaders want this special treatment, this carve out, because they know it's a bad deal. And what the, I see this as a scheme, Neil, because what they're trying to do An evil is scheme. increase the membership of the unions, which is on the decline. And this is a way for businesses to, to get out from under this, this dark cloud because they will be faced with having to either uh, get rid of employees or, or drop their hours or drop, uh, drop their hours, excuse me. And so they're this is really a way for them to kind of get out from under it, and this is a grand scheme from Well, the Alexander, to that point, I just think it no. looks sleazy. I think it looks yeah. sleazy. It's classic liberal, do as I say, not as I do. And what my favorite part is, is that they're using conservative arguments to accomplish it. Uh, the union leaders are talking about the freedom for employers and employees to negotiate through collective bargaining. It kind of reminds me of when Senate Democrats and congressional Democrats in general uh, tried to get the carve out for them in Obamacare. Well, you know, um, Alexander, I agree with their reasoning. I agree with the union's reasoning on this. I just want consistency on it. And that was roughly the same kind of reasoning a lot of employers were using. One size does not fit all. And Jim I, I support that what the unions are trying to do here. They don't think that one size does fit all. Why don't you just be consistent about it and, and, and just Absolutely. realize that you can't have it one way uh, for one group and another way for you. That's what I'm saying. Jim absolutely. Why look, privilege the, the, union the leaders? Optics absolutely, the optics absolutely look wrong on this, but I think we have to take a step back and say what, what is the motivation behind this? This is about getting decent wages. And when this minimum wage uh, increases, the union workers, they get to do this collective bargaining and they get to get the benefits they want and set those wages. Then but why you've got did, businesses well, like restaurants, the at all? they why want to put the burden no, 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 no. Why ask it all? Why ask it all? Neil, I see this because as a scheme. The, they the understand that the workers is going down. In 1983, it was 20%. It's not about union membership. It's about decent wages. It's down to 11%. It's about no, decent no, no, wages. Jamu, now stop it is yourself about there. decent uh, benefits. Jamu, I love you it's to death, but Colin, you have to be seen. Jamu, come on. We've known each other for a long, long time. You know the inconsistency in this argument, and you were about espousing decent wages, and a $15 wage was the wage that you espoused for everybody, and you thought it made sense to the fast food industry, and those workers you were shoving in those protests to make sure you get your way, then to turn around like a little worm and say that it doesn't apply to you because <laughs> you it's too costly. Me a worm? Not you, actually. You're not a worm, but you're, you are a little Look, left of reality here. It is, it's businesses like restaurants that are trying to worm their way out of this. Their motives are different than what the union's motives are. Uh, no, 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 they don't start getting ideas. Your, your motives are purer pass than theirs. The, 
No, they want to pass off the cost of paying their employees on to us, and, and that's that's just not right. You can't These higher wages are Alexander, actually going I, I, to be higher performance sense. standards it's across the board. It's inconsistent. Go, either go all the union way or go all the $15 minimum wage way, but you can't have both ways. Absolutely. You know, why should a small business who's suffering already under this administration and is creating jobs for people who need it the most, um, you know, be subject to suffering, these rules when suffering? union leaders Profits are uh, up. themselves have Profits to be? Profits are up. The GDP economy is, is improving. Drew. How are they suffering? GDP has been How are revised. they suffering? Small right, businesses are suffering. The, right, I wish this I, I wish workers had more time. whose I, wages I, have right, 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 stagnated. Yeah, look, That's look, who's look, suffering. Look, 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 look. Bottom line, hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. Yeah. I will never offer any of you ladies <laughs> dietary advice. And you know why? You wouldn't take it from me. And you know, you know also why? I wouldn't want to offer it. I'd be the wrong person to offer it. So I, need I don't it. need unions <laughs> lecturing bosses on what if there's a proper wage when they want to carve out for their proper wage. Right. Can't have it both ways. Yeah, that's kind of that too.